a time period in European civilization in which art, sculptures, and architectures influenced an increased awareness of nature, a revival of classical learning, and a more individualistic view of man is known as the Renaissance. Scholars no longer believe that the Renaissance was a complete break from the Middle Ages, which is also suggested by the French word Renaissance, literally meaning rebirth. This is because historical sources show that interest in nature, humanistic learning, and individualism was already present but became more dominant in the 15th and 16th centuries. Artists have taken these new interests and have created many valuable paintings to show the world. Giovanni Bellini, an Italian painter, is someone who valued these interests and demonstrated them in his paintings. He was born in 1430 in Venice, Italy. He is considered to be the father of Venetian Renaissance, and he is known for his ability to convey human emotions through his paintings. Bellini was not isolated from other artists across Europe. He studied the style of Northern European painters, and also his pupils helped him further his own skills. His early works were similar to his father's, Jacopo, and brother-in-law's, Mantegna, especially with its delineated figures and rocky landscape. Mantegna was an influence on Bellini. His art style was supremely structural with bold contour lines. His influence on Bellini is apparent in the painting, The Agony of the Garden. The painting shows Jesus praying in the Garden of Gethsemane, while three of his disciples, Peter, James, and John, sleep. An angel reveals a cup and a pattern, symbols of his impending sacrifice. In the background, you can see Judas approaching with the Roman soldiers who will arrest Jesus. This painting is abundant in the color brown. Different shades are used so that the viewer can distinguish between the winding and twisting paths and also the natural rock formations. In the background, the light of dawn is emerging in the distance to show light upon Jesus and his disciples. This is so that it illuminates the feature of the individuals to express their emotions. Bellini used the foreshortening technique, which is adding depth to a painting by creating an illusion that is three-dimensional, and it can be seen in the rock formation. This painting is painted in a way that the viewer can see the dimensions of the rock that make it 3D. He also used perspective, which can be seen as the Roman soldiers are smaller because they are further back, compared to Jesus and his disciples who are bigger and up close. Even though the Renaissance period started to focus more on literature and art, adapting and adopting the medieval vision, religion was still a focus and is reflected in the artwork. Bellini has painted this event and his use of light conveys the promise of resurrection and eternal life for Jesus and his followers. The angel is there sent by God to comfort Jesus and is illuminated as well. This is because Bellini wants to express hope. His respect to nature and light can be clearly seen in his paintings, and he is probably one of the first Italian artists to capture dawn in a painting. He uses tempera in this painting, which is comprised of pigments and egg yolk. Blending colors and adding depth is difficult using this method. Its limitations were seen once painters became more interested in capturing the likeliness of the physical world. Later on in his life, Bellini met with Antonello de Messina and he introduced Bellini to oil painting. Oil painting allowed him to better represent living subjects in his painting through his use of color and light. It allowed him to create figures with more emotional depth since it's easier to blend and it also dries slowly. Bellini created lifelike figures which Venetian art became famous for. Another painting by Bellini was the Saint Francis in Ecstasy. It was created in 1480 this painting shows St. Francis rendezvousing with the sun. The sun is not shown in the painting, but it's where the rays are hitting that can be seen. The rays touch every corner of the landscape, as it can be seen by the shadows. The man is easily recognized as St. Francis because of his cloak and tonsure. Viewers can also notice the wounds of crucified Christ on his hands. The use of color in this resplendent artwork has been used to show importance in nature. The blending of colors in the trees, the different shades of gray used in the rock all contribute to making the painting as real as possible. He has done this using the naturalism technique. He also uses perspective because the object like St. Francis in the foreground are bigger than those in the back. Sfumato is used in the rocks to show how parts of it are rigid 
The blending of colors allowed the viewers to get a feel of its depth and lighting. Religion is reflected in this artwork. The wounds on St. Francis' hands were painted because Christianity was a big part of the culture. Also, St. Francis becomes part of a larger scheme of nature. Bellini tries to create St. Francis' spirit, who strove to become one with nature and use it as another pathway to God. St. Francis is standing with his arms wide open, his palms facing up, and looking towards the sky, as if he is embracing God. This painting uses both oil and tempera. Another artwork by Bellini was the St. Job Altarpiece. It was created in 1487, and usually altarpieces are paintings depicting a religious image displayed behind the altar, where worshippers would be able to gaze upon it while listening to the service. The idea behind this painting was to include the Virgin and Child in fellowship, and several saints, as if they are holding court. There are 11 figures in the lower half of the painting while the upper half focuses on architecture, including crafted vaulted ceilings, gilded domes, and carved marble columns. The luminous golden color of the dome balances so that it prevents the top from being too dark compared to the colorful bottom. The use of light and shadow allows lifelike images to be created. Bellini used his own church's window as a source of light to create that better realism and illusion of an actual church. One technique Bellini used would be realism, because the human body is lifelike with attention to muscle parts on the male figures. Also, the details on the faces of the individuals are realistic, as the viewers can see the emotions on everyone's face. This altarpiece was painted on one panel using a style of the Sacra Conversion, or Holy Conversion, which is becoming increasingly popular at this time. Religion is the Renaissance characteristic that is shown in this painting because this is a religious event. Even in his late years, he kept up with time and took cues from his own pupils. Bellini began to emphasize on images of mythology, landscapes, and experimented with a more atmospheric style. He shows his skills at representing lifelike images through his portrait of the Doge, Leonardo Loredan. His painting was created in 1501. The most serene republic of Venice was ruled by chief magistrates called Doge. Leonardo Loredan was the 76th Doge of the Venetian Republic. The Doge himself asked Bellini to paint this piece because of Bellini's extensive work in the Doge Palace. These portraits were mandatory when one comes into power. Unlike the portraits of the Middle Ages, Bellini painted portraits at a slight angle. His portraits were figure paintings using oil. The color used in this portrait shows the doge's power to uphold the Venetian Republic. The gold and silver on the cape and corner reflect light and also represents the wealth of Venice and hope that she will continue to grow. The background color is a pleasant choice to create a contrast between the golden robe and orange band of corner. It also represents the Adriatic Sea and Venice's reputation as a seafaring trading power. The technique Bellini uses is impasto, which is adding layers of paint to create raised sections. Bellini has also used realism because the viewers can see the details on the doge's face, like the wrinkle lines on his forehead. Humanism seems to be a Renaissance characteristic that is shown in this painting. The doge is someone who uses reasoning, experience, and human values. An example of this would be when Lower Dan uses his authority to refuse being bullied by the Papal States. The artworks examined reflect the spirit of the Renaissance society as a part of their time period is presented in these paintings. For instance, St. Francis in Ecstasy shows what the Renaissance time period would have looked like with the type of architecture, the clothing, and so on. You can pretty much say that a part of the Renaissance is stored within these paintings. Bellini painted till his death in 1516. He has contributed many artworks and knowledge to his pupils and followers. He was a master painter and considered to be the best in Venice.